Okay, so now we're going to try the Ranger G2 sloping. I reckon this will work okay. Doing well, oh the wind has gone very light, but it is it's cruising around beautifully. Look at that. Gorgeous. Really, really light wind. I can barely feel it on my face. But that's that's beautiful. Oh look how well this is going. Haven't touched the motor yet. I feel like I need more throws for the slope. It's a little bit too docile, but that's probably good for really light wind. Using the rudder to turn so I don't uh, shake it up too much. No problems at all. Awesome sloper. Low pass. Whew, nice. Someone was asking how to use the rudder in turns. I'll try and explain what I'm doing. There's lots of subtle variations you can use for turns. I'll use rudder. I'll show you in a minute. So I'll describe what I'm doing. All right, so right, left rudder, bit of back elevator to tighten the turn. No rudder, straighten out with the ailerons. All right, so now aileron, pulling back on the elevator to tighten the turn, everything back to center. Okay, left rudder, right aileron to even it out, flatten out the turn, back to center. Right rudder, Left aileron to flatten out the turn, back to centre. Left aileron, pull back on the elevator, back to centre. Right aileron, pull back on the elevator, back to centre. Left rudder, right aileron, smooth sort of flat turn. <coughs> right aileron and rudder, aileron back to the centre. So there's hundreds of different ways you can do turns and you sort of, uh, when you get more competent, you can adjust halfway through to flatten out the turn, that was a little bit of a stall there, trying to rut a turn. <coughs> There's really no approach for this <laughs> site. <laughs> so you sort of have to come in low, slam it down, that was ugly. I'll have to glue that clip back in. Anyway, brilliant slope saw, works well.